Welcome back to Aquatic SMP. This is episode four, is it? Good. All right, so we are working on an area, and this is going to be the shopping district. So we're all over there. He made a community nether portal, and he's also got a map. So I need to make a map so I can put out these districts because I want to make the shopping area over here. And, well, I got the idea proposed, and it is all good. Hi. Got a new joiner on here. Uh, who is, who is it? Oh, it's not. Right. I don't think he's even joined yet. <laughs> Weird. Alright, anyway, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to clear out that entire area. Who is this? It's already got diamond stuff. Alright, so I think I'm going to be needing to clear this entire area out. And, yeah, that'll be good. That'll be a nice little thing. So, what I planned is, I've got like a kind of, what is it? It's like you're trying to hold back like a burp or something. It's weird. But I've got an area planned out. So it's going to be kind of all along this, but I do need a map to see a full area of it. So I'm going to clear out just about maybe this hill or so, and I will be right back with all of you. Alright, so Brian is streaming, so we got tagged a little while ago. So we are about to go find him. I don't know where he is. He's somewhere in the ocean. That's all I know. But, oh, that's, no, we can't get him. He's already been tagged. Oh, he's making a, is that an auto farm? Cool. All right, where on earth is he? Well, his stream is on pause for right now, so he might be AFK, so we might as well just go back to getting stuff done over here. Uh, we do have him right there. You know, let's get him. Let's get him. Where is he? That's a that's a fish. Um. All right, let's go try and find him. I lost him. <laughs> I don't know where he went. He just disappeared. Well, we should probably take our stuff then. And if I do see him around. I'm going to get him with that feather tag. I will get him with that feather tag. Anyway, so we've already got a little bit of an area cleared out here. I'm clearing out all these trees, and I'm just flattening, flattening this down to about this level right here. So that's just two more rows i got to remove. So not bad. He's over there. We are going to get him with the tag. Let's take out the feather. Ha ha, this is coming, man. This is coming. And let's just hope he doesn't slaughter me or anything. Why the heck not? Hey! Hey! <laughs> what? <Ooh. laughs> You've been... <laughs> yeah! Oh, and he's streaming. Oh, yeah, we got him. Get rid of the wood, hit me with, hit me up. Alright. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that was perfect. So I gotta get the stream footage of him, which hopefully doesn't stream for too long, because, well, I mean, I don't really mind going through his steam stream footage, but, well, because he just started streaming like a little while ago, so that doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna get that right in this video, because that was amazing. I just gotta wait until he's done. Oh, he's already gone. All right. <laughs> we were too late. Anyway, so I am now clearing up this part right here. And I don't think I'm going to make it to the size of... Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll make it to the size of this. So I'm just clearing up this last little bit over here. And then we're going to be filling in some areas down here with all like the leftover dirt. Because we, have... we don't have a full double chest, but um... oh, we don't even have... A lot. <laughs> oh, wow. Alright. 
Well, I'm going to continue doing this, and I will be right back with all of you once I have got another progress update on this. What do we got here? Thanks for Thank you for letting me borrow the furnaces. Ah, nice. <laughs> this is kind of like a throwaway thing. All right, I'll take this. I will definitely take that. Um, I'll take the iron, too. And I actually want the ink sacks. I need some concrete later. We got more feathers, but I think I'll leave that there. I'll clear that out later because I need to make a friend. I've been mining like a madman recently. Oh, man. Uh, actually, we need three of these. So, two, three. There we go. And then on the top, on the bottom. There we go. We got an anvil. And then let's get some two diamond. Yeah, two. Two will be fine. And where are we going to put this? Oh, yeah, I got an enchantment area also. So I didn't really do much. I've just been playing around, you know. Oh, look at that. It's so cheap, actually. I'm going to bring this over to the clearing area because I will be using this anvil quite a bit. I should also probably put my iron back in my chest. I don't really want almost, well, yeah, two stacks of iron laying about because I'm going to be using that for later. All right. Got it. <laughs> so most of this is cleared now. Um, I guess we could patch up a couple spots right here just to make it a larger land area. But this is just the bare of it. When we get the grass growing in and all that, it's going to look a whole lot nicer. It's connected right off this platform right here. Anyone need dirt? <laughs> oh my god. That is a lot of dirt. And I've got more in here. I mean, it's not as much as people would think, but it's, it's not a full inventory, but it's almost a full inventory of dirt. So whoever wants it can have it. But this looks pretty good. Um, it doesn't look too big, but once we get the path and everything, I'm going to detail this a little bit. So I'm going to have like shrubbery, trees, just around that. Alright, so now I think the only thing that we have to do is light it up. So let's light this entire area. Now only the... Oh, who's that? Oh, okay. So only the right side is going... So you're going to enter in through this, and only the right side is going to be shopping district. So I think that that's going to be pretty cool to have. So now people can build as many shops as they want. Or, at least, Brian hasn't really decided on... Oh, nice, melon seeds. Hey. Did he... Oh, I didn't want any sugar cane. Alright, and she's gone. <laughs> Alright, well, that was interesting. So, let's see. Um, so, I don't know if people can have that many shops, but I sure am going to build one, at least. All right, see you later. Uh, uh, we are. <laughs> uh, learn to type. All right, so uh, I need my dirt from in here. So he's gone now. And let's do this. We've got eight torches left. Start automated shirt cane. Nice. How is it working? I really learned to type. I can type without looking at the keyboard, but I just can't be extremely 100% accurate with that. So, how's this gonna look? All right, so here's my plan. I'm gonna build it out to about over maybe two blocks, three to over here. So at least you have a little bit of stepping point and then I'm gonna make it look as natural as I can. So I'm going to make it look as natural as I can then, and not make it look like it's going to be a straight drop off. But this side's going to be a little bit more of a challenge. What is going on here? Why is the boat jumping? <laughs> Why is... It's levitating. It's causing me to lose a ton of frames, but it's, it's levitating. That's weird. <laughs> Alright, well, I think what I can do, actually, 
is since it kind of pokes out near the end, but it dips down high in the middle, if I want to do something like this, and kind of have it dip down at the end, but it goes a little bit up in the middle, I don't know how that'll look, but I do have a pretty good feeling about it. Uh, if it wasn't such like a straight off and stuff, like give it a little bit of room here. Eh, not a big fan, I guess. I mean, that looks that looks a lot better. So, yeah, that that's about what we're gonna do then. So this is all area for shopping space. So, yeah, that's pretty. That's a pretty good area. Yeah, that's a good area. All right. Well, the community nether portal just opened, so let's go drop off our stuff here, and we're gonna make a dirt path. So let's take at least four stacks of dirt, and we are heading into the nether. All right. So off the bat, it looks like they're starting a little area. Ooh, this is dangerous. I do not want to be on that. <laughs> All right. So. We could find some nether quartz, that would be magnificent. But I guess we could also grab some of the gravel here, because we are going to be making concrete. And I... Yep, I did not want to step on that. Alright, and same with this, right? Yeah. Alright, well I want to make a concrete factory. And I think that I'm going to need some stuff from the nether. I don't, th well, if I can find another fortress, that would be perfect as well. So let's go see if we can find anything in the nether. Hopefully we can. We already got some quartz, though, so that's good. But I'll be back with you once we find something interesting. Or hopefully we do. I gotta say, the terrain here is posing a massive challenge for me. Alright, so what we already did was I should probably start placing... Ah, we got glowstone already. Alright, but... Okay, I'm gonna drop down here. Let's pick up some stone that glows. And I'm gonna make a dirt platform right here. Alright, I'm holding shift, right? Yeah. Don't wanna step off this thing. But let's just do something kinda like this. I'm gonna get down here. I have always hated going for glowstone unless I have like a fire resistance potion, which then I'm completely fine with doing it, but I have always dreaded going on these things. Alright, how many just can we make? Make nine. Uh, if we head down to here. And this. Yeah. Can grab some of this then. Alright. Good enough for me. Uh, that will be 12 pieces of glowstone. Let's head up to here. This is the tunnel that we dug already. So now we gotta make our way across. Alright, we have got almost like three stacks. We're kinda close to or we're closer to two and a half, but we got a we got over a stack. So we are now going to head back, put this in our chest, and everyone is now offline, so I am the only one on. But that doesn't mean that the episode is over. I, I don't know. Oh, we got some more quartz over here. I don't know what I meant by that's not why the episode's over, or whatever I said. <laughs> oh, just not thinking sometimes, just not thinking. Um, but I am thinking about, well, since I'm going to make a concrete factory, why don't I just open a concrete shop? That would only make m the most sense. So we'll open a concrete shop, but that does mean that we need a lot of gravel and a lot of sand. And we'll just leave that there for somebody else. So that's gonna be that's gonna be quite a task. So let's head back and do that then. And hopefully it doesn't take too too long. Oh, I completely forgot about this. I thought the dirt path just ended right there, and I didn't even see this. <laughs> forgot I came in here on this thing. But let's go get back there as fast as possible because this episode's got to end soon. Let's just get there quick then. We're back. Nice. Let's get through here then. I also probably should have taken a lava bucket to make some obsidian back home. We can't really find much, but we're back now. We go right to spawn. 
think that in that boat is still here. I'm gonna break this. Oh wow, what happened there? Where's this boat? All right, I I don't know where this boat went. <laughs> uh, I can make him another one if he needs it. But I just realized something. In the bottom of the ocean is usually made of gravel, so we're gonna go into the bottom of the ocean. And plus we have that. What is it? The um conduit. Yeah. So we can do this. What is that? Oh, that's the sun. Oh, wow. That's new. So let's grab just this stuff over here. And that should all float to the top, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's going to float to the top, but we should be able to grab most of this quickly. So I'll be back with you once I've got most of this then. Last two blocks and 64. We now have... 10 stacks of gravel. So that means we need 10 stacks of sand to match up with this. Let's also grab that kelp there because, well, I don't want to leave that running in the water for a long time, so we'll grab that as well. Plus, I like the dried kelp block. It looks kind of nice, so we'll take that with it. Anyway, there we go. So what do we have in our inventory? Oh, we got like a we got like a full stack of kelp. So there we go. Um, I cleared quite a bit. I cleared just about over in that direction as well. So I think we're gonna be pretty good on this gravel for a while. Or well, once I open the shop, we're gonna be needing to go out and get a lot of that. So I. I think I'm gonna have to run back to my base, make a double chest for the stuff. So let's make a double chest real quick. Oh, that only gets me one chest. Uh, I need two more pieces. I could have just made it out of the already made wood, but too late now. So there we go. Let's run back to my base, set that down, and then we can go hunting for the, or we'll go mining the sand. We don't really have to hunt for the sand. Also, my sugarcane farm looks like it's doing a pretty good job. I've already got a whole ton of that sugarcane stuff, and I'm going to be making golden carrots. Because only the rich people on the server get to enjoy the luxury food of the golden carrot. So, let's go ahead and make a double chest right here. This place is a mess. Then again, this is a starter base, so it's going to be a mess. Also gonna take two diamonds to repair my shovel. Um, or we'll what is it, remove that in a little bit. But as of right now, we're just gonna go get the sand, and then that'll probably be it. Because I know as of right now, nobody has a skeleton farm, so we're gonna need to find a skeleton farm if no one else has one. But skeleton farm, well, skeleton spawners could be a Hard time to find. We might as well only use one diamond then. We got one diamond for leftover. And let's just put the rest of this dirt in here. Uh, I'm gonna only replace that with dirt. So put that in there and then the rest of the stuff will go up in this chest. So there we go. Perfect. Alright, uh, I guess I do need a boat. So let's go make a boat. And head out on the water, because we are going to need some sand. And I don't want to mess up a whole lot, so I'm going to go try and find a desert. And here it is. Ten stacks of sand. Exact. Uh, I just cleared out this little beach here. Uh, not much really changed about it. No one was using it. It's not that far away from spawn, but nobody's using it, so, I mean, why not, right? Just use it for your own purposes. But now, I need that skeleton for bone meal. But I don't have a skeleton spawner anywhere. What is this? What on earth is this? Wait a minute, what? What is this? I... I'm gonna leave that. I thought it was sunken treasure that nobody wanted because I could really use that TNT, but I'm going to leave that there because I don't really know if that's somebody's personal storage. I saw I used, I saw I used pick in there, so 
I don't know. I don't want to be messing with somebody's stuff. All right, we made it back to spawn. So now, let's go unload our stuff. I'm also going to take the anvil back home. And is there anything in here? I guess I will take the wood, glowstone, and the diamond. But I'll also take the quartz as well. And then can you... All right, no, I thought you could make it into green. I guess you can't. All right, yeah. Yeah, we'll head back now. So that's our stuff. It is thundering out. All right, nice. That was really unexpected. <laughs> I just heard a loud rupture, and my chair literally shook. So that's how I know that there's a thunderstorm outside, so I should probably wrap this up before my power cuts out. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and goodbye, everyone.